Hello everyone, welcome to Sutta Coder. This is Ravina, and today we are going to solve problem number two, which is add two numbers. So we are going to start by reading the question. You are given two non empty linked lists representing two non negative integers. The digits are stored in reverse order, and each of their nodes contains a single digit. Add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. You may assume the two numbers do not contain any leading zero except the number zero itself. So let's take an example. Uh, let's look at the example here. So basically what they are saying is they have given us two numbers that are there in the reverse order and we are supposed to find the sum of it and return that. So for example, here you see it's, it's a linked list. It's two, four and three. The number is in the reverse order. That means it is three, four and two. It's just in the reverse order and then it's five, six and four. So it is five, six and four. So basically it's 465. We have to take those two numbers and then we have to play, uh, calculate the sum and then return it. And obviously that sum is gon also going to be in the reverse order since the linked list are in the reverse order. So basically the sum becomes seven, zero, eight. So I hope the problem was clear. Let's see how we can solve this. So uh, first thing that we are going to need is uh, the two variables. So the first variable that we are going to need is V1, which is going to store the elements from this list. Let's call it L1. We are going to need V2, which is going to take elements from the other list. Let's call that list L2. We also need a carry. Why do we need a carry? Because when we are solving it, so basically let's look at this same example here. We have five, six, and four. If we are going to add it, five plus two is what? Seven. Six plus four is what? 10. So you cannot write 10 here, right? When we do summation, what we do? We keep the units place with us. We push the tens place as a carry. So this one is gonna go here. So it's four plus three plus one, which is eight. So we also, we also need to keep track of carry and that's why we need this carry variable. Now we are also going to need a result. So I'm going to call it head and then I am going to initialize it with zero. Let me get rid of this. So I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to create a list with head node zero. I already have my three variables with me. Now let's start and see how we can solve this. I'm going to go through my while loop and my while loops condition is going to be to take into consideration the two lists, whichever list has the long, uh, greatest length. I am going to take that. So for example, if you have, you know, for example, let's take another thing it's two and four and the other list is actually five six and four so in the while loop what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the length i'm going to run the while loop how many times the the length of the list le the longest length of the list so here the length is three here the length is two so i'm going to run the while loop for three times and you must be wondering if i run the while loop for three times what about this there this is null that's a very good question. What we are going to do is if we run the loop for greater number of times, we are going to check if the value exists. If it doesn't, then we are going to replace it with zero. And that's how we are going to handle that exception. So let's see. Let's see the example. Now, first, my pointer is here. I have started with my while loop. I check, is my L1's va value present? Yes. Okay. I'm going to assign it to my V1. I'm going to check. Is there anything in my L2's value? Yes. I'm going to assign it to my V2. Initially, I'm going to keep my carry as zero since I do not have anything. Now, once I do that, I'm going to calculate my sum. Once I get my V1 and V2, I'm going to calculate my sum. My sum is going to be V1 plus V2 plus carry. So it's going to be two plus five plus zero which is seven now i'll check is there a carry in my sum i don't think so it's just one digit okay then i'll just create a node and then add it to my head now i do all uh, now i check 
Is my L1 empty? No, it is not. Okay, my pointer goes to the next element. I'll check. Is my L2 empty? No. Okay, my pointer goes to the next element. Now I do this procedure again. I check. Is my L1? Does my L1 contain any value? Yes, it does. So I'm going to update this by four. I'm going to check. Is my L2 empty? No, it has a value. So I'm going to update it with six. Since I did not have anything to do with the carry in the previous iteration, I'm not going to touch it. Now I will do the summation again. I'll calculate the sum. In this uh, particular iteration, you will see how the carry acts. So V1 is four, V2 is six, and then carry is zero. Six plus four is ten. Ten plus zero is ten. So it is ten. Now, if you'll see. Do I see a carry? Yes, I do. This is two 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 digit number, so I have carry one. So I'm going to update my carry to one. And how am I going to create the linked list? Then I'm going to create the linked list with a units place, which is zero. So I'm going to create a list node with zero. I'm going to check is my L one empty? No, it is not. Okay, moving on to the next node. Is my L two empty? No. I'm going to the next node. I again come on the top of the list. I check: is my L1's value empty? No, it is not. Okay, update it with the number which is three. Is my L2 value empty? No, it's four. So I'm going to update it with four. Now it becomes interesting. So I now calculate the sum. My sum is going to be V1, which is three, plus V2, which is four, and then carry. So it's three plus four seven plus one eight. It's eight. I'll check if there is anything in the carry. No, there is not. So this carry actually becomes zero. And then I create a node with eight and add it to my linked list. I check is my L one empty? No. Okay. I move on and then I go to the next node which is null. I check is my L two empty? No. I move on to the next node which is null. I go to the top of the loop. I check: is my L1 or L2 anyone not null? It is not the case. Okay, then we exit. And in the end, it is really, really important to have that one check. I'm going to check: is my carry is the is my carry consisting of anything? Is my carry empty? If my carry is not empty or not zero, I'm going to <clears throat> create another load and add it here. So, for example, let me show you this. I have a 37. For example, I have 37, and then I have 73. I have these two numbers. I was I am supposed to add them. So 7 plus 3 is 10. I take 0 here. 1 is carry. Now 7 plus 3 is 10, and 1 11. You see, this number becomes 011, and that is the edge case, guys. So you have to make sure that when you do this iteration, you will always have a carry of 1. and you have to make sure you check your carry before ending your solution you have to check is any is there anything in my carry if there is then you create a node of your carry if there is nothing in your carry then you don't need to do it so that's the edge case that you have to keep in mind now let's see how we can i hope this explanation was helpful so let's go to my ide and check you know how we can write the code for it so the first thing that we need Is the head, so head is going to be my list node, which I am going to initialize with zero. Now I am going to create a root node just to keep track of you know what's happening, so that when I move forward with my head node, I just have to keep a copy of my roots, so that I when I return it, I return it from the first element. The first thing that we wanted was to uh, have a carry with just initialized to zero. Now I'm going to go through the loop. I'm going to check while my L1 or L2. That means when I when there is either one of them which is not null, I get my V1. My V1 is going to be my if I have values in my L1, then I get L1 dot val. Otherwise. I get zero. That's how you write it in Python. So basically, whatever you have to return with the if comes first. So in terms of v2, I'm going to check if my l2 is 
there if it is there then i'll return l2 dot value otherwise i'll return zero next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to calculate the sum so v1 plus v2 plus carry okay i'm done with the sum part now how do i calculate carry how will you do that well when you think about it suppose you have 18 with you and you want to take the carry of it what are you going to do you need one and you can simply do that using integer using division so what here you're, you're going to um, divide your s by 10 so this is what you do in python when you want to convert it to integer so whatever my s is going to be suppose for example 18 and if i do double slashes and 10 it's going to return me one similar thing in java if you can you can always type cast it to integer so that it drops the decimal value that's exactly what i'm doing here so that's how i'm going to calculate carry and then in my heads dot next i'm going to get the units place now how do we calculate the units place it's really simple it's going to be mod of 10 so for example if you have 18 s 18 mod 10 will give you the units place which is 8 it will always give you the remainder and so you can use mod so for example if you have 20 20 mod 10 will give you 0 it will always give you the units place so that's how i'm going to calculate the units place and then i'm going to increment my head so head is going to be head dot next i'm going to check if i have l1 if l1 is there then i'm just going to increment it so l1 dot next if i have l2 so for example if i have l2 then i will increment l2 so l2 dot next why does this look off yeah okay mm. second yep cool and then in the end i have to always check that if there is anything in the carry so i'll check if carry then why is it so weird I don't get it. Okay, so let me do this. Cool. Yeah. So if I have anything in my carry, I'm going to create a node in my head dot next. So I have list node, then I have carry lastly i'm going to return the root dot next why root dot next because i have zero i had initialized it with zero which is not relevant to me so i'm going to return root dot next which is going to return everything from the next element of zero so that's why i have root dot next so now let's run it Zooms. Okay, there was a space there. So let's see now. Oh God, this needs to be inside. Okay, and then submitted. Okay, so it's accepted and it beats 72% of the solutions. So let's talk about the space and time complexity of this problem. If you look at the time complexity, you will see that it's going through the while loop and how many times it's taking maximum of either L1 or L2. So if suppose M is the length of L1 and N is the length of L2, it's going to be maximum of M or N. That is going to be the space or uh, the time complexity. What about the space complexity? Well, for the space complexity, you will see that in the head, we are actually storing the whole list and we are uh, at worst case scenario it's actually gonna be whichever is the maximum plus one so your space complexity is also gonna be maximum of m or n because that's how many numbers you are gonna store 
because how that's how you're going to do the summation. It's actually maximum of m or n plus 1, but we tend to just drop the constant when we calculate complexities. So that's what we're, we are going to do. And then if you don't know how to solve, uh, how to, you know, get the time complexity or space complexity, I have a video on that, which is pretty intense and you'll know, you know, how to do it and then get used to it in the meantime. So I hope the explanation was helpful. The code for this is going to be on my game. So I'll include the link for it in the description below. You can find that and then refer it if you want. And also, if you like my channel, please give a like or a comment on it. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to solve any such problems. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.